Started boxing at age 11. Got a lot of promise in this young kid. Been training with the Benavideses for a while now. The entourage they have. I mean, Bandera Roja, what, about 20, 25 people are coming into this kid? Boxing Champions now presents six rounds in the Super Featherweight Division. Brought to you by TGB Promotions, Man Down Promotions, and Sean Porter Promotions. Brought by, sponsored by MGM Resorts and a Brooklyn Boxing. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the black and green trunks. He weighed in at 129.2 pounds. With seven fights on his record from Dallas, Texas, presenting Charles the Cobra Clark. And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner wearing the black, gold, and green trunks. He weighed in at 129.2 pounds. His record is unblemished. Four victories, including a one by knockout. Hailing from Los Mochis, Mexico, presenting Jose El Rayo. Gearing up for six rounds in the super featherweight division. Jose Venezuela got to take off that. Uh, Ready one? Hear that? More fights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a four round fight, a four round bout. All right, there's been some clarification there from Miguel Flores. His fight was originally scheduled for six, now scheduled for four rounds in the super featherweight division. He wanted to start early in this look fight. Look at the look right there of Clark. <laughs> These two men. You better pick up your pace right. if it's only four rounds. Looks wow. Like he wants a mug of He'll kill you with that look. Yeah, yeah. do some more. <laughs> Can he show the skills oh, <laughs> against Valenzuela? Let's see if he could back it up. He's trying to scare the kid yeah, away. Huh? Let's see right now. Charles Clark. Let's see if it did scare Valenzuela. Two, four, and one. Man, Clark's been through the ringer, though, facing the seventh unbeaten fighter of his career. But it's been a while since he's been stopped. He hasn't been stopped since October of 2017. Called the Cobra. Let's see, let's see if he can slither his way to a win here. <laughs> here we go. Round number one, scheduled for four. Rayo Venezuela, Charles Clark. Rayo the Southpaw. Trains with David uh, Benavides as well as his father, Jose Benavides Sr. Both these guys have a lot of speed. Venezuela takes Coming forward, gets tagged by a jab there from Clark. Nice shot there by Clark. And then, so we translate. Uh, They're getting static right in their into heads lightning. Sets. They're getting a lot of static in their heads. Maybe show some of that quickness here tonight, Valenzuela. Looks like he's a fast uh, kid too. You know, Rayo started boxing at age 16 from Mexico, but relocated to Washington. Last fight, like I mentioned, June 23s. He lands a good series of punches there. 2019, getting a round. Oh, oh, down goes Clark. He's out. Oh, wow. What a left here by Venezuela. Oh, he's not getting up. It's over. It's all over. Didn't need those extra two rounds. Jose Rayo Venezuela striking like lightning here tonight at the Staples Center. Getting his second knockout of his career. Take one. So much for that look, huh? Yeah, that scary look that Clark was showing at the start of the fight. Didn't do anything there. No. Well, this kid has a big future here, Valenzuela. Let's take a look at this. Lightning fast. Boom! Lights out. You're done. Down goes Clark. He did not expect that shot. Valenzuela with a victory. Goes to 5-0 and now. Oh, man. Big home run swing there from Rayo Venezuela. Good job by the referee. He saw it immediately. Clark was hurt and he came in. And it's over. And I feel like he didn't even get warmed up really. Is he going to put back his ballistic jacket on? <laughs> <laughs> Join the team. There you go. And he goes immediately back to the corner. See Clark there disappointed. Drops the fifth career loss on his record. The Cobra being slain there by Rayo Venezuela. So he gets dropped from a six rounder to a fourth, and then he just needed one. Just needed one. What a job by Valenzuela here, yeah. Jose. This is his, actually his first career knockout of his career. I mean, great. So, uh, this was in the super featherweight division, 130 pounds. He 
tried to fight uh, past four rounds, but he keeps knocking out people like that. I don't think uh, we're going to see him get to four rounds or anything further for a while now. I think a lot of people want to take Mike up to fight him. I saw a smiles there, the young Rayo. 20 years old, this kid has a bright future. Demonstrated his nickname today, Lightning Fast Knockout Hero, Clark. Coming out of the sheet set one. Further on tonight, folks, make sure to purchase the pay-per-view. Give me a pay-per-view. PBC on Fox, Errol Spence Jr. versus Sean Porter coming your way. 6 p.m. Pacific time. You can order it on foxsports.com. All your apps and streamed on, on uh, all platforms. I know some people uh, order late, but yeah. why not see the uh, undercards? Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes in round number one at one minute and six seconds for your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Jose El Rayo Valenzuela. There we see the young Jose Valenzuela improving now to 5 0, two knockouts of his career. Stoked on his big knockout here at the Staples Center. Maybe a, thing, uh, uh, a shade of things to come, Felix.